Hey, hey, what's up? We are scrambling the equipment here. Check this out. The wagon is loaded up. This is all the leather stuff. I um, got a phone call from my friend Matt, who manages a number of uh, jets there that they charter out, and one of them came back with uh, with some artwork, so to say. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if I should be censoring these images or not. It's kind of abstract, but either way, it has no place on the armrest and side panel of a jet. So. On my way to Iowa City, just loaded up all of the um, leather care supplies and see if we can take care of this. Because this plane has, it's Thursday, this plane has to fly on Saturday, but I'm leaving tomorrow morning for Miami, coding um, some sort of Cessna in Miami. So let's, uh, let's see if we can solve this problem tonight. All right, let's go see what we got here. So I brought the whole kitchen sink, as you can see. We are preparing to paint, however, I am an optimist. I don't think it's going to work, but we're going to try and fix this chemically by wiping it um, with the right combination of chemicals. So again, I don't think it will work, but it's worth a try. So let, let's see if we can make this better. Okay, the first thing we're going to try is ballpoint pen remover. Will this work? Probably not. And also, I'm fully expecting the base layer to be damaged, so let's see what happens. Again, that's why we come prepared to um, repaint. Oh shit. Okay, this is working, actually so far this might turn into a very short video and I'm okay with that because I still got a pack for uh, for Miami now you notice that difference there um, well we'll clean the whole thing once we get the ink off so I did advise to not have this cleaned any other way. Uh, sometimes, I don't know why, I haven't looked into it, but sometimes if you clean it, it actually makes the stain set more. So in this case, it's a super fresh ink stain. And much to my surprise, this is making a big difference. It is kind of taking the paint off a little bit. This has been resprayed before. Um, I don't know how old it is or, or what kind of paint system has been used on it, but generally when things have been resprayed, you do need to prepare to respray it again once you go after with something strong like this. Soaking and blotting. with a very high degree of success. So my tip, my tip is starting to get inky to clean that tip out. You can see the tip as it picks up blue, you just kinda dip it in there. Really need to be optimistic more often. This has gone exceedingly well. This part had the most ink, so we're going to let that soak in a little bit longer. So you see it it's picking up the ink, so we may just have to do this a few times. So 
so that worked better than expected, which is great because I didn't want to paint this anyway. Um, what I'm going to do, just because the, the amount of solvents I just put on here kind of made the top coat a little bit sticky, which is to be expected. You're going to let this sit for a little bit and then um, maybe clean the armrest just to even out the kind of grimy areas from just arm grease with the areas that I just cleaned and, and then let's see how big that differential is. Maybe just the good cleaning and a little bit more solvent work here will um, will do the trick for us. So this is just some Color Lock Strong Cleaner. Just gonna work that in and try and even out the spots that I just cleaned with the spots that weren't cleaned. Yes, look at all that. I can't say that some of that isn't the re-dye, but the leather underneath the re-dye, as is usually the case, is actually in great shape. So let that dry and see what it looks like. All right, so for the fabric, we're basically gonna do the same thing. Um, and this is a some sort of plastic. It, it's not like cotton or wool, luckily. So let's just see what happens if we get some solvent on there. And then get it right back off. Ah, look at all that coming out. Perfect. Perfect. What I'm scared of happening is the uh, ink going from a line and just blotting out to everywhere. So that's why I'm making sure to pick it up with the towel as fast as I can. Okay, so since we did just kind of nuke this, chemically speaking, I won't say nuke it, I, we, we're pretty aggressive on it chemically. Um, I'm going to put some leather protector on there, just to uh, condition it, give it a little bit of stain resistance and UV protection as well. And then we'll get some after shots so you can see whether or not I did a good job. I'm really, really happy that we didn't have to paint. And it doesn't make for as interesting of a video, but, you know, customer's happy, I'm happy. I can go back to packing for tomorrow and uh, get on out of here. Well, any day that you don't have to mix and match paint is a good day in my book. So, glad this worked out well. I'm going to get the car packed up and head home. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.